Imagine yourself in the eye of a storm, the chaos, the conflicts. How do you find your peace? How do you navigate through it? That's the power of Stoicism, and that's what we're about to uncover today. In this video, I'll share with you five key Stoic principles to help you not just deal with, but resolve personal conflicts. Whether it's a tussle at work, a disagreement with a friend or a family feud, these principles will guide you toward a peaceful resolution. Life isn't about avoiding the battleground, it's about knowing how to dance in the storm. If you want to transform your conflicts into opportunities, to grow, to learn, and to understand, then this video is for you. So, let's dive right into the storm and emerge stronger, calmer, and wiser on the other side. Principle 1. Embrace Objectivity When faced with personal conflicts, our emotions tend to cloud our judgment, making it difficult to see the situation clearly. However, embracing objectivity is the first step towards resolving conflicts effectively. Stoicism teaches us to detach ourselves from our emotions and observe the situation from a more rational perspective. Imagine you find yourself in the middle of an argument with a close friend. The emotions are running high, and it feels like a hurricane tearing through your relationship. In that moment, Stoicism encourages you to take a step back, to pause and reflect on the situation objectively. Instead of getting caught up in the whirlwind of emotions, try to focus on the facts at hand. Objectivity allows you to see the conflict from a different angle, like an outsider looking in. You can ask yourself questions such as, what is the root cause of this conflict? Or are my assumptions accurate? By examining the situation objectively, you begin to unravel the layers of complexity and gain a clearer understanding of what is really happening. In Stoicism, the goal is to separate the events themselves from our interpretation of those events. It's like watching a movie scene without getting too emotionally attached to the characters. By detaching ourselves from our emotional reactions, we gain the ability to see things as they are, without distortion. For example, let's say you received a harsh criticism from a colleague at work. Instead of immediately taking offense and reacting defensively, take a moment to objectively assess the situation. Ask yourself, is there any truth to what they are saying? Or can I learn something from this feedback? By adopting an objective mindset, you can turn criticism into an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. By embracing objectivity, you also gain a better understanding of the other person's perspective. You can empathize with their point of view and recognize that their actions might be driven by their own emotions and experiences. This understanding fosters compassion and opens the door to productive dialogue and resolution. In essence, embracing objectivity is about seeking truth and clarity amidst the chaos of personal conflicts. It allows you to approach conflicts with a rational mindset and make decisions based on reason rather than impulsive emotions. By cultivating objectivity, you become a skilled navigator in the storm of conflicts, guiding yourself and others towards calmer waters. Remember, conflicts are a natural part of human interactions, but how we approach and resolve them defines the quality of our relationships. So, the next time you find yourself in a personal conflict, take a deep breath, step back, and embrace objectivity. See the situation for what it truly is, let go of attachments to emotions, and embark on a journey towards resolution and growth. Principle 2. Practice Empathy In the realm of personal conflicts, practicing empathy is like unveiling a hidden superpower within ourselves. It allows us to connect with others on a deeper level, fostering understanding and compassion. Stoicism teaches us that empathy is not a sign of weakness, but rather an essential tool for resolution and personal growth. Imagine a scenario where you find yourself in a disagreement with a close friend. The emotions are running high, and it seems impossible to find common ground. It is at this point that practicing empathy becomes paramount. Empathy is the ability to step outside of our own perspective and truly understand the thoughts, feelings, and motivations of others. To practice empathy, we must first genuinely listen. When we engage in active listening, we create a safe space for the other person to express themselves fully. It's about being fully present, setting aside our own agenda, and giving our undivided attention. By doing so, we show respect and validate the other person's experiences, emotions, and perspective. Once we have listened, we can start to put ourselves in their shoes. Empathy is like slipping on a pair of glasses that allow us to view the world from the other person's point of view. We try to understand the challenges they face, the values they hold, and the experiences that have shaped them. This deep understanding helps us detach from our own biases and prejudices, fostering a sense of connection and fostering an environment where resolution becomes possible. Empathy also involves recognizing the emotions of others. 
It's like having a radar that picks up on the subtle signals of their feelings. We pay attention to their facial expressions, body language, and tone of voice. This attentiveness allows us to respond with sensitivity and compassion, acknowledging their emotions and validating their experiences. Stoicism reminds us that empathy is not about agreeing with the other person or sacrificing our own needs and values. It's about finding common ground and seeking a resolution that respects the dignity and well-being of all involved. Understanding someone's perspective doesn't mean we have to abandon our own, but it opens the door for constructive dialogue and finding mutually beneficial solutions. Moreover, practicing empathy benefits not only the resolution of conflicts but also our own personal growth. Through empathy, we expand our own horizons and challenge our preconceived notions. It broadens our understanding of the human experience, making us more compassionate and tolerant individuals. Empathy also builds trust and strengthens relationships. When we demonstrate genuine care and understanding, it creates a sense of safety and openness. People feel heard and valued, fostering deeper connections and laying the foundation for healthier interactions in the future. In conclusion, empathy is a powerful tool in navigating personal conflicts. By practicing empathy, we create an environment where resolution and growth can flourish. It allows us to listen, understand, and connect with others on a profound level. Through empathy, we not only find common ground but also foster personal development and build stronger relationships. So let us embrace empathy as a stoic principle, and watch as the conflicts transform into opportunities for connection and understanding. Principle number three, control what you can. In the midst of personal conflicts, it is easy to get caught up in a whirlwind of emotions and reactionary behaviors. We often find ourselves desperately trying to control the actions, thoughts, and opinions of others, only to realize that it is an exercise in futility. Stoicism, however, offers us a powerful principle for navigating through these challenging situations, to focus on what we can control and let go of what we cannot. Imagine standing in a crowded marketplace, surrounded by people bustling about. You have two choices, you can either try to control the movements and actions of every individual around you, or you can focus on your own choices and responses. Stoicism teaches us that the latter is the key to finding inner peace and resolving conflicts. When faced with conflicts, the first step is to recognize and accept that there are certain aspects beyond our control. We cannot control how others perceive us, what they say or do, or the outcomes of a situation. However, what we can control is our own thoughts, emotions, and actions. This principle empowers us to take ownership of our responses and to approach conflicts with a calmer, more rational mindset. Let's consider an example to illustrate this principle. Imagine you are working on a project with a colleague, and they consistently fail to meet deadlines, causing frustration and tension within the team. You may feel tempted to try and control their behavior, to micromanage or criticize them. However, this approach rarely yields positive results and often exacerbates the conflict. Instead, by focusing on what you can control, you can choose to communicate your concerns calmly and constructively, expressing how their actions are affecting the team's progress. You can control your own attitude and work ethic, leading by example and offering assistance when needed. Stoicism teaches us that by shifting our focus from external factors to internal ones, we can foster an environment of understanding and collaboration. Moreover, when we accept that we cannot control everything, we free ourselves from the burden of unrealistic expectations and unnecessary stress. Stoicism encourages us to embrace the idea that life is a continuous flow of events, some within our control and others beyond it. By accepting this truth, we can find serenity in the midst of chaos, knowing that we have done our best with what we can control. However, it is important to note that embracing this principle does not mean relinquishing responsibility or becoming passive. Rather, it is about recognizing the boundaries of our influence and directing our energy towards areas where we can have a positive impact. Through self-reflection and self-mastery, we can choose our responses wisely, and in doing so, shape the outcome of conflicts to the best of our ability. In conclusion, the stoic principle of controlling what we can is a powerful tool for resolving personal conflicts. By focusing on our own thoughts, emotions, and actions, we navigate through conflicts with greater clarity and resilience. We let go of the illusion of control over others and instead channel our energy towards productive and constructive responses. So, when faced with conflicts, remember to embrace this principle, and you will find yourself empowered to navigate the stormy seas of life with wisdom and grace. Principle 4. Cultivate Patience In the midst of personal conflicts, it's easy to lose ourselves in the heat of the moment. 
our emotions intensify and our patience wears thin. However, the stoic principle of cultivating patience reminds us that finding resolution requires time, understanding, and a calm state of mind. Imagine a pot of soup slowly simmering on the stove. The flavors melt together, the ingredients soften, and a rich aroma fills the kitchen. Patience is like that simmering process, it allows conflicts to settle, emotions to cool, and clarity to emerge. When conflicts arise, our immediate reaction might be to assert our viewpoint, defend our position, or seek a quick resolution. However, Stoicism teaches us to take a step back and recognize that true resolution often requires patience. Patience is not passive acceptance but an active choice to wait for the right moment, to allow understanding to flourish, and to give space for both parties to express their thoughts and feelings. It's like waiting for a flower to bloom, knowing that rushing the process will only hinder its growth. In the face of personal conflicts, cultivating patience empowers us to see beyond the immediate tension and focus on the bigger picture. It allows us to consider the underlying motivations, the different perspectives, and the potential for growth and compromise. Patience allows us to listen attentively, to truly hear the other person's point of view without interrupting or dismissing their feelings. It's like opening a door to empathy and understanding, building a bridge between conflicting interests. Moreover, cultivating patience in personal conflicts helps us respond rather than react. It provides us with the space to choose our words and actions wisely, avoiding impulsive decisions that may exacerbate the situation. Like a skilled chess player, patience allows us to think several moves ahead, strategize, and work toward a win-win resolution. Remember, resolving conflicts takes time. Just as a sculptor patiently chips away at a block of marble to create a masterpiece, we must give ourselves and others the time and space to carve out a resolution that benefits everyone involved. By cultivating patience, we not only create a peaceful environment for resolution but also demonstrate respect and empathy towards others. It shows that we value their perspective and are willing to invest the necessary time and effort to find common ground. So. Dear viewers, as you navigate through personal conflicts, remember the power of patience. It's not always easy to remain calm and composed when emotions run high, but practicing patience will bring you closer to a meaningful resolution. Hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more insights and practical strategies to navigate life's challenges with wisdom and grace. Let's learn and grow together on this journey toward a more fulfilling and harmonious existence. Principle 5. Seek Wisdom. In the realm of personal conflicts, seeking wisdom is like shining a light in the darkness, illuminating the path toward resolution. Wisdom is not just knowledge, but the application of knowledge in a way that fosters understanding, compassion, and growth. When we approach conflicts with a thirst for wisdom, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities and solutions that might have otherwise been hidden. To seek wisdom in the face of conflict, we must first cultivate a mindset of humility. It's acknowledging that we don't have all the answers, and there's always room to learn and grow. Rather than assuming we hold the ultimate truth, we approach conflicts with an open mind, eager to gain insights from different perspectives. One way to seek wisdom is to actively listen. Instead of focusing solely on getting our own point across, we genuinely listen to the other person's thoughts, feelings, and concerns. It's like opening a door to their world and stepping inside for a moment. By doing so, we create a space for empathy and understanding to flourish. We may discover underlying motivations or fears that shed light on the conflict and pave the way for resolution. Wisdom also prompts us to seek advice and guidance when needed. We recognize that we don't have to face conflicts alone, and there are people who have walked a similar path before us. Seeking the wisdom of others who have experienced similar conflicts can provide us with new perspectives, strategies, and insights that we may not have considered on our own. It's like having the mentor guiding us through the storm, offering wisdom born from their own experiences. Moreover, seeking wisdom entails an ongoing commitment to personal growth. It's a recognition that conflicts are not merely external battles but opportunities for inner transformation. When we approach conflicts with a growth mindset, we ask ourselves, what can I learn from this situation? How can I become a better version of myself through this experience? It's like sculpting the masterpiece out of clay, shaping ourselves through the challenges we face. Wisdom also encourages us to reflect on our own actions and contributions to the conflict. It's a moment of introspection, where we take responsibility for our part and strive to make amends if necessary. By examining our own behavior and biases, we can gain clarity on how our actions may have influenced the conflict and how we can change our approach moving forward. 
In seeking wisdom, we also embrace the idea that conflicts can be resolved peacefully. Stoicism teaches us that resolution doesn't always mean one person triumphs over the other. Instead, it's about finding common ground, understanding, and compromise. It's like blending colors on a canvas to create a harmonious masterpiece. Seeking wisdom allows us to find creative solutions that honor the needs and values of all involved parties. As we strive to seek wisdom in the face of personal conflicts, we not only find resolution, but we also embark on a journey of personal growth, empathy, and understanding. By approaching conflicts with humility, active listening, seeking guidance, embracing personal growth, and striving for peaceful resolution, we become wiser individuals capable of transforming conflicts into opportunities for growth and connection. So, let us embark on this path of wisdom and unlock the power to navigate conflicts with grace and insight.